what the F is going on with Chris Jones. Now, if you were too busy setting up the old slip and slide, the crocodile mile, that's what they called it in Chicago. If you were in the backyard, you know, cooking up brats or whatever, or driving back from Insert National Park here on your Labor Day weekend, I get it. Let's fill you in. Nick Wright, big KC guy, works over at Fox. He tweeted or X'd, I guess, uh, that the Chiefs and Jones are supposedly 9.5 million apart in their talks and that Chris Jones wants to become the highest paid non-quarterback in the league. So let's take a peek at what that would look like. Aaron Donald leads the way, 31.67 million, and that's 333K under what Jones is reportedly asking for. So all of his contracts were signed last offseason with the cap continuing to go up as it should. Is it crazy that I don't think this is like the most unreasonable ask of Chris Jones and his camp? Listen, I know he has not yet won a DPOY, okay? And Donald has three, and that's the comp here. But paying guys is not just about past production, right? It's about market, it's about where it's going. Like I said, that cap's going up. And it's about what Veach and company think he can do going forward. The truth is, Jones is coming off his best season. He was first team all pro, a defensive player of the year finalist, and he's also three years younger than Donald. He's 29, he's very much still in his prime. 32 sacks over the last three years, that is one more than Donald has had. And he leads all interior D linemen in that category. So I'm just gonna say, and I always say I see both sides, the GM side and keeping it all together, and of course the player side, but let's not pretend this is some crazy request, especially with it being just a two year deal. Somebody's gonna make more than Donald. Get over it, everybody. A bunch of quarterbacks make, quarterbacks make more than Mahomes. It's called the market. You don't have to be like, you don't have to clear Aaron Donald's production to get paid like he does. I don't get it. I think the Chiefs, and I hope they pony up, make it work, bring the focus back to defending the title. And I see you people out there chipping away at Jones and trying to like belittle him or trying to bully him into whatever, like we don't need him, he's not that good. You literally do not have two Super Bowl rings without him. And tell me, do you think you can do it in the AFC without him this year?